All right, guys, we're out here off of Trang and Dow and Day Tam. And we're going to go by Andrew's pad. He's moving because he has some noise issues with his seafood restaurant next door. So he's got to get the hell out of here if he wants to get some sleep. I'm going to show you guys his pad so you guys can see how an expat lives in Vietnam. And he's actually moving to a new place. So stick around to the end of the video and we'll show you his new place. So he lives down this little hem right here and he wanted to save some money. So he thought he would be paying four million, getting a good deal. But lo and behold, little did he know there was a nightclub behind his apartment and he can't sleep. Mr. Seafood Restaurant is the sole reason I'm moving my apartment. I live in the alley behind here and they play music so loud every night that I can't sleep. And it goes until 4 a.m. I wake up at 5.30, so I don't sleep anymore. So I have to move just because of these guys. I don't know how anybody can live through that. They think they're a dance club or something, or a nightclub. So thanks guys for making me uproot my life again. <laughs> Goodbye and good riddance. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. So this is the building he lives at. Nice quaint yellow colored. Yellow is like the ugliest color. Yeah, I know. But it, aesthetically, it doesn't look bad. It looks nice. I'd live in somewhere like this when I first got here. I mean, I have a balcony. That looks nice. Hey guys, come on in. We'll show you. So when you go park, you got to drive your bike up this little ramp. So unless you're an expert motorbike driver, drivers beware. We go up. Guys, we got some stairs. It actually sounds really quiet in here right now. I'm curious to what it sounds like in the middle of the night. And you said there was a nightclub. It's a seafood restaurant and it's not a nightclub. It is a seafood restaurant pretending to be a nightclub. Or a nightclub pretending to be a seafood restaurant. That's true. Either way. And you can see, dude, you can see like Ferraris pull up and the Mercedes. So it's all the elites again. Just like I told you on that other one I'm trying to go in the last video. It's so weird they would pick Bu Vien to go to the elites. Seems like Tao Dien would be the place to go. Oh, sure. Um, I think they do go there as well, but they do. They, the guys with money pull up here. I get tired. My girlfriend's tired. getting tired. What do you live in, the penthouse? I live in the hot house. Wait until you guys see how hot it is in here. The next one is the roof, and it is. Yeah, I have to do this every day. Wait until you guys see how hot it is in here. So, guys, this is. My room for four million, so come on in. Shoes off, Ron. Um, Tradition, huh? I don't care what you guys do. I habitually take them off. This is bathroom standard wet bath. A wet bath is where the toilet is connected to the shower. So if you want to handle your morning business and take a shower at the same time, it's very convenient. This is my room. It is very, very hot during the day because we get all the sun. And I usually have clothes hanging here like from my door, so whatever clothes I'm wearing for the week. And then my desk with, you know, we'll do some pros and cons. Here's a broken chair that I have to use for my online classes. Did you get it broken? Yeah, it okay. came broken. So four million, I've got my TV guys. Uh, there is no TV. I asked for TV. He wanted me to pay something like 130 mil or 130,000 VND, excuse me, that's not a lot of money, but I asked him to do it, he never did. You have your bed, my kitchen, everything right here. And here are some pros, guys. It's cheap, it's central. Um, I think that is all the pros. The cons <laughs> outweigh the pros here, is why I'm moving today. Noise galore. I've got, if I don't have a chicken or rooster crowing, I have a dog barking. Um, we have a family down here that will do karaoke at just crazy times whenever they get drunk enough, especially during the holidays. The seafood restaurant that we already mentioned, they're just bumping music all night. Get out of Ho Chi Minh City if you can't handle the noise. Why do you live here? Yep, guys, I love your hatred and your comments, so please send them. Please hate all you want. Tell me what an idiot I am for living down here in District 1. Um, I live down here, guys, because it is central to everything. I can walk everywhere. This is all I know. But guys, I do have a nice little balcony. Um, I have a shoe factory right here that you will hear all day and all night. 
they actually make shoes in here. Oh, I can see the shoes through the window. Yeah, yeah. and they will, you can hear the machine. Mm -hmm. It's not too loud right now, but you'll hear that all day, all night. All night too? Yeah. They, well, they shut down at probably around 10 p.m. unless they're in overtime. But yeah, that's, you know, I nice. don't know. Today is a nice overcast day, yeah. so it's not terribly sunny. Yeah. It's probably a lot sunnier when there's not the clouds there. I can open the window at night and I can get a nice airflow so I can I don't have to run the AC so after it gets dark I can actually get a nice draft if I open that and this sometimes I'll even leave my door open so that saves me money so guys the whole point of coming to a room like this was to save money after not working for pretty much a year uh, eating up my savings from COVID we talked about COVID before in another video it's just been hard on everybody you guys can see the difference between a four million place and an eight million place. So that'll be really good. Yes. These, these little rooms are actually really great. If you're coming to Ho Chi Minh City, you're just starting off, you don't have much money, maybe you just start teaching, you wanna, you wanna save your money on rent, these rooms are great. I live in the same kind of thing here in District 1, actually you're really close to here. Right. So if you're just living by yourself, you, know, you don't have a girlfriend living with you, you don't have kids or a dog and cats and all that, these are great. So March 16th is coming. So a lot of people are gonna start coming to Vietnam now. So if you come here on a 90 day visa, you don't have very much money. These kind of rooms are perfect until you get your work permit and your residence card and you start working. You can live in a little spot like this. And who knows, maybe you'd wanna stay in a spot like this. I live in a little room like this for a little over a year, my first year in Vietnam. And it's not that bad. Yeah, I tell you, it's you not that bad. If it wasn't for the noise that he was saying at night, I think this is a pretty nice room. Oh, yeah. Four million? Yeah, I definitely, I would stay in it if I could sleep. I would have, I would have no problem staying here for yeah. a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're at Andrew's new place. It's definitely, for sure, an upgrade. Much nicer outside. I'll take you guys inside. I've already been up there. So you guys are in for a treat. I think it looks pretty nice. What he's doing right now is he's sticking his hand in to a fingerprint reader. Fancy. That is that is fancy. I like that. Motorbike parking. Yep, typical motorbike storage. Get a bunch of them down here. You're gonna have to maneuver them around a little bit to get anywhere. This is smart. Let's flat the exit. Take the stairs and hurdle the bike. That doesn't make sense. Did you take track and field in high school? <laughs> I'm too old to jump that thing. I'm just gonna park my bike in front of the exit. I don't care if there's a fire. Yeah, well, just turn it, turn around, just point the whole nose in there. <laughs> Get it out of the way completely. Right. New place. It's a heavy old school antique door. Yeah. As you can see, the size of his room is practically double. As tradition states, we'll start with the bathroom. There we go. Much oh. nice, much nicer shower. The floor's not good, but no. it's a big shower and I like it. Yeah. Okay. That's right. At least I have like a door. I like these shower heads too. Overhead ones. Yeah. As opposed to just the sprayers. Yep. That's real clean. It's real neat. It definitely seems like it's been renovated recently. Ah! Andrew was very excited about that. Now he can do his own laundry. Finally. Don't have to share laundry. Swapping skin flakes. <laughs> so do you hear that wire banging? Nice big refrigerator. It's like a real apartment. Old school cabinets. This place reminds me a lot of a hotel room. Maybe like a three-star hotel room. <laughs> yeah. Bed's you can see real soft. The woods old and old school, like maybe the seventies. 80s? Maybe. I don't know. Not during the time I was alive. <laughs> All this gold trim or whatever. It's mm -hmm. kind of funny. I kind of like the look. His AC is huge for this room. I don't know if you guys can tell with the video. That is a very long AC. Yeah, so the longer and the bigger, the more money I have to pay to use it. Nice Sony TV. And like a hotel room. Got your little coffee smoking area. There's his view. Oh, and there's that wire we were talking about the things in the window. So. Something's gonna have to be done about that. Okay, so we showed you his old room. 
Now you see his new room, which is about twice the size. Uh, the price difference is his old room was four million, and I think he got that on a bit of a COVID discount. This place is seven and a half million. He has to pay electricity and water, 100K per person. So that's double the price, but it's double the space, and it's hopefully it's five times the amount of sleep. So yeah. that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay awesome.